Blanket. I'm Dylan Black. What is Booby Ball all about? Yes, I said it, and I feel good about saying it because <laughs> it's for a good cause, okay? It's happening October 26th. Details right now with Lucia Zagumas joining us on the show this time. You're a committee member with Booby yes, Ball. Yes, I am. Yes, it's my fourth year working with Booby Ball and mm -hmm. being on the committee, and it's a super fabulous event, so I'm okay. really happy to be a part of this. Can you please tell us what it is quickly before people get, uh, like, send angry letters <laughs> to Dylan Black? Because I said Booby Ball so Right, so October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and Booby Ball is an annual fundraiser uh, working in together uh, working together with rethink breast cancer so this is uh, an incredible organization that helps support young women who have been diagnosed or are dealing with breast cancer mm -hmm. uh, which is wonderful because usually when someone receives a breast cancer diagnosis there aren't enough resources out there for them because generally it's always been older uh, demographics that get breast cancer but um, you know as we all know younger younger people are getting breast cancer more and more mm -hmm. uh, so it's just wonderful to have this group that helps support and and raises funds and and shows people with breast cancer that there's there's support out there for them. Okay, and, and it doesn't just happen in Ottawa; different cities across Canada. Right, Booby Ball takes place in Toronto, Vancouver, um, Ottawa, and Calgary. Okay, now all on the same night? No, actually, uh, it happens every other Friday in October. So uh, tonight actually is uh, Toronto's Booby Ball, okay. and then uh, on the 26th, of course, is Ottawa's big Booby Ball event. Okay, now Friends launched this a, a few years back. That's right. Yes, two. Uh, Friends, best friends of, uh, of a, a girl named Sarah who was diagnosed with breast cancer decided to do something special for her and organized uh, the very first booby ball uh, 12 years ago actually uh, and this is the fourth year that it's taking place in Ottawa. Okay so look here, here are some people having fun. Yes last year we had an 80s theme so um, that's our committee last year uh, and our theme last year was called let's get physical so we had fun with that uh, throwback to the 80s ah, theme. 1980s. Yeah. Some Olivia Newton John lookalikes there yeah. for sure. Okay, so there is a different theme this year, and uh, it sounds like it could be exciting with the Wild West Yes, theme. so we have a Wild West uh, theme this year, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's always, like, the funnest part of the Blue Ball is getting outfits together and doing the planning, trying to think of, like, how to be creative and how to have fun with your outfit. And it's so cool to see all the different um, different get-ups and what costumes people are wearing. Okay. So with Wild West, we're thinking cowboy hats and jeans and, of course, cowboy boots and maybe something from uh, Westworld, you know, if you uh, are into that show. Mm -hmm. So very fun, very Western, and we're going to have a lot of different activation booths at Booby Ball. Um, really fun photo booths. We're going to have t-shirts. We're going to have hair and makeup by Loft uh, Urban Salon. Mm -hmm. And uh, a mechanical bull too, which could be a oh. little dangerous considering there is also an open bar at Booby Ball. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, lots of YouTube videos could be taken that Oh night. yeah, it's, definitely, uh, definitely. Stuff. And tickets are $100, but yeah. if you go on BoobyBall.com, you get $10 off uh, with the promo code BBLOVE10. Nice. So mm -hmm. so can I ask though, because I just saw a lot of ladies in those photos. Now, now are yeah. guys invited oh, yeah, to there Booby is actually a lot of guys that go to Booby Ball. I, I, you know, the pictures only had ladies, but there's okay. definitely lots of men that attend as well yeah. in support and to have a really good night and a, a lot of fun. So uh, are you hoping for some cowboys to show up? Is that yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I don't even know if we've thought about that. Maybe we can uh, bring in some cowboys. <laughs> some real life cowboys yeah. can buy some tickets, right? So how many people would fit? So it's at Lago, It's right? at Lago, yeah, yeah. This is our third year uh, that is taking place at Lago, and we've, it's a fantastic venue. There's, you know, a parking lot across the street. Um, it's spacious. Uh, we have food. We have lots of um, beverages, of course. We have a candy bar, and we have amazing gift bags that we mm -hmm. give hand out to all the attendees as well. But there's lots of room. There's lots of room, lots of room to dance, a huge dance floor, a great DJ that plays in great beats all night long. So it's a yeah. lot of fun for everyone. Okay, so how much has been raised over the years? Because I understand that the It's uh, been over $4.6 million that's, that's been incredible. raised for Rethink Breast Cancer, yeah. Okay. And this year the goal is to raise $430,000. Okay, but not, not just the Ottawa Not just Ottawa, like right but at, at all four. But that is, that is an locations. exceptional yeah, amount of money. It's absolutely great. And there's support, the support from the community as well, because we have a lot of fantastic online auction items that people can bid on, mm -hmm. uh, you know, get a stage at the end at hotel we have um, massage packages Lots of good we stuff. have so many goodies okay. yeah absolutely so because it's the 26th I mean are you still looking for participation meaning uh, people can uh, donate items absolutely can... we're always looking for donations monetary donations are always welcomed um, by any uh, companies that want to contribute uh, if they don't have items to give for gift bags we would welcome monetary donations that would help uh, go back to rethink breast cancer as well mm -hmm. if you have items you want to put in our gift bags that would be wonderful as well and if you have any packages or gift baskets or anything you think 
think your company could uh, could contribute to Booby Ball, that would be fantastic as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And with uh, such a huge fundraiser, there's got to be a lot of people yeah. on your on your board, like yes. volunteers, a lot of people helping Yeah, out. a lot of people. We have a, a great committee of, uh, of, of, of women, and uh, and one guy, I think, this year is on our committee that helps, uh, that helps yeah. put everything together, and it's a lot of fun. He's the token cowboy. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. That's good. Yeah. All right, now, are you going to get on the mechanical bull? I think because so. You're I mean, for a city. photo op, I think that would be great, right? <laughs> and I think that's. I mean, uh, that we we could sell some tickets here today. Yes. Uh, if, if you like, promise that you're going to get on the mechanical and bowl. not fall off. Well, I don't know. <laughs> How long do you think you could hang on? Have you ever been on a mechanical bowl? I have bowl not before? actually. You're going to try it, aren't I'm you? I'm going to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what time does all the fun get underway? <laughs> it starts at 8 p.m. Yeah. 8 on the 26th of October. Could go yeah. into the wee hours of the morning. It usually does. Okay. Yeah. Booby ball. I said. I just. It's Boobyball.com for more information and for tickets. And yeah, it's fun to say, isn't it? People are always like taking it back when they first yeah. hear it, but all for a good cause and when the name is catchy and fun. Great cause. Yeah. Uh, and LIGO, of course, at Dow's Lake. That's right. That's the area for that. Okay. So, Lucia uh, Sadumis, thank you very much thank as always. Thank you, Dylan. And Lulu's views and Boobyball.com. Yeah. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Booby ball. <laughs> there you go. More daytime coming up in moments. It's Rogers Television, and my name is Dylan Black. It's good to have you here as always.